Hello, in this video, I am going to show you a terminal based text editor called Nano. So to initiate it, you type in Nano, then the file name, if the file is in this directory, or the file path, which you can drag on. But if I just list out all the files, we've got MP4 file, which is basically what's being recorded right now, a folder, and a file called mwconfig. So let's just cut mwconfig out. So this is what's inside of it. And now to edit it, we are just gonna put nano, nano, so let's go to new line. So nano mw underscore config. And now we are in the nano editor. So we can move around like so. And all the commands that we can initiate are down here. So this little up arrow represents control. So for example, imagine if I, at the end, uh, want to add something like, hello world. And I want to save that. To save it, you want to do write out. So control O, now it says file name. So if you want to save it as something else, you could put, you know, something else here. I'm going to leave it as the same name. So it's going to overwrite it. Click enter and that's done now. And to exit out of it, it's just control X. So control X. And now if I was to cut that file again, as you can see, the new text is there. And we can actually, you know, go into here, opening with text data, and you can see it is there as well. So that's pretty cool. What happens if we try and do nano on a file that doesn't exist, or maybe we type in the file incorrectly, whether that's the path with the file name and extension or just the file for this directory. So if I do nano file1.txt and as you can see that does not exist in my desktop, I click enter, what's happened? So what has happened? It basically, you know, creates it. So let me put something in there. So hello, so I'm going to do control O, click enter and what have we got? So we've got file1.txt now. And we can do control X. And as you can see, that file is still there. That little swap file has now disappeared. That's just temporary for nano. But we have created a file. So remember, you can create a file using the touch command. But touch just creates it. If you know you need to put some text in there, and it's just something quick and easy that you know you probably can get, you know, do it via the terminal, then nano is the command for you. So that's it for the terminal based text editor known as Nano. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.